Okay, so how's everybody doing? So uh, this is going to be uh, the first episode of a series called Scratch Building 101. Um, it's at the request of uh, one of my subscribers. I read this morning and I thought, you know, maybe it's a good idea. You know, I'll give it a shot, even though a lot of this kind of work is very time consuming. And, and uh, you know, we have day jobs and then we want to model as well. But I'll do my best. Um, I'll try to keep it to the point. Uh, I don't want to do long videos. Like uh, people are not into, I mean, I don't know, nobody's told me, but I just find that people's attention span is very short these days. And um, so I want to try to keep it under 10 minutes, if that's okay with you. So let me preface by saying um, I'm going to follow this up with... Uh, a segment on the tools that I use and then the materials and then some of the procedures and methods I'll pick a subject like a building flat or an out or not an outhouse a uh, shack or something and then try to take you through at the bench uh, how I cut and scribe and measure and put things together um, you know I know I probably take that for granted and just assume everybody to know but I'm sorry if I've done that so I'll try to uh, make that more clear and uh, demonstrate some of those um, procedures for you. And um, how I go about pick, picking a subject. And uh, Now most of you may be familiar with this, and so I'm sorry if this is, seems you know, repetitive. Uh, but let me just close in saying this, that that I'm not, uh, uh, even though some of my models uh, will vary in terms of detail, that uh, I'm not interested in building codes like miniaturized uh, uh, specifics on distances and heights and things. Everything's a cheat uh, in the miniature scales that we build. Um, nothing is completely accurate to the real world. Uh, if you want to build that way, then have at her. But I'm not interested in that anymore. I've been there, done that. Uh, I just want to have fun. And I want to share some of the methods and skills uh, that I've developed over the years with some of the followers and viewers to help them enjoy the hobby more and to encourage them and show them that they too can scratch build. Uh, okay, like um, I have the advantage of, of uh, well, I, I always did it growing up. So even though I had day jobs and then I turned it into a profession, of course, and then I I finished that chapter and now I just do it for fun. So even though some of my models might have a rivet or two on them, some of them don't have any at all. And I, it just doesn't matter to me. It's just all big, one big painting, right? And if you want a unique look to your dioramas, your model railroaders or model railroad uh, layouts and, and uh, models, you know, or subjects, um, then you need to scratch build or, or kit bash anyway. The kit bash is a good step from just building a box kit and then scratch building. I just got into it, you know, at a very young age because I got tired of building everybody else's idea. I just thought I want to build something that nobody else has. And that's what drove me to do it. And so I get the most fun and, and satisfaction out of just taking a photograph uh, like you might see here and then building from it. Okay, so I hope you enjoy the series, and uh, I hope you also have a great day, okay? Mm -hmm.